before I begin my extremely well thought out and extremely professional PowerPoint presentation, I would just like to say that I have been sabotaged at every angle by this show, including Matt using a joke, Matt getting laughs off a photo of me. Unacceptable, but I would also like to say that as a peace offering, that shirt is great. Oh. And I also agree about the upside down parts on the subway. Thank you so much. Also, I would like to point out that Matt used the title of his presentation was The Case for Feelers, which is less a comedy PowerPoint presentation and more the name of a case that a defense lawyer should not have taken. Also, I did not expect that I would be arguing against Helen Keller, Mr. Rogers, and Robin Williams. But that is the task before me, and I will rise to the occasion. So, let's talk. Thinkers are better than feelers. I know because I am a feeler, and I am useless. <laughs> a career in the arts, a beret, that's right. I'm one of you. Who better to know how worthless we are than one of us? <laughs> my feeler CV. You don't believe I'm a feeler yet? Perhaps I'm just a thinker in disguise? I'll prove it to you. The first CD I ever bought? The Titanic soundtrack. Did I cry while listening to it in bed? Yes, I did. It's available right now for $9.99 on eBay. This joke was mine! Opera, your laughs belong to me! It's just so obviously the funniest picture that I could... I will not have my own experience undermine me! <laughs> the last time I cried, that's right, it was watching Paddington 2. That adorable little bear solved the criminal justice system. If you haven't watched it, it really is the greatest movie I've seen in the past three years. You must watch it. Okay, also, my wife wrote a book that's literally the book on feelings. It's available for purchase now. So, I think I have a clear CV as a feeler. My practical skills. Comedy PowerPoints. That's it. Nothing else. One time in college, I tried to fix my girlfriend's stove. One of the burners, one of four burners, would not light. I had, within three weeks ago, I had learned about pilot lights. I was certain the pilot light was out. This is a true story. So I went over, I said, I'll fix your pilot light. I lifted up the stove, I lifted up the top. As I lifted it, I needed to pull hard to get it up. I realized that it was, in fact, some sort of electrical igniter. There was no pilot light at all. I put it down. Three hours later, I received a phone call that I had accidentally cut the gas line and their house had to be evacuated. <laughs> Did I solve the problem? No. Did I give them a new problem that was worse and made the original problem seem less bad? Yes. And that is what I call the George W. Bush of solutions. <laughs> But it's not all about me. It's not all about me. Let's talk about what thinkers have given to the world. Thinkers are good. Feelers are bad, I've said that, but let's talk about why. What have thinkers given to the world? The concept of democracy, pretty big fan. <laughs> Mathematics, GPS satellites, the cure for smallpox, houses that don't burn down instantly. Also, this microphone. Those are all things that thinkers gave you because of science. Science is the realm of thinkers. What have feelers given the world? Mimes and the current measles outbreak. <laughs> now let me speak your language. I don't know out in the audience, maybe you are a thinker, maybe you're a feeler. I imagine we maybe have a mix of both. Let me speak your language. I'll speak both languages. First, for thinkers, the higher order people in the crowd. Let me speak to you using your own language. You love graphs. Now I'm a feeler, but I tried. First graph, exhibit A. 
Our y-axis is the ability to write poetry, and the x-axis is the ability to file their own taxes. You see, there's a negative correlation. Okay, now let's look at exhibit B. On the y-axis we have time spent wearing a beret, and on the x-axis we have hours they could survive without electricity. Getting close to zero for some of us. Now, feelers, let's talk to you. What do you think matters? Not science, not electricity, not medicine, not democracy. You probably think something like this is probably the most valuable thing you've ever seen. That's right. Jeff Koons sold it for $91 million. That seems right. It's a metal bunny, right? That's worth more than any other art. Good job, feelers. Matt, since you want to talk to me and bring me into your little games, what's your favorite, who's your favorite author? My favorite author? Yes, give me a serious answer, don't do some sort of bit. Uh, oh, David Sedaris. David Sedaris, too bad. He doesn't exist because the printing press was never invented. <laughs> Bo and Yang, yeah. what's your biggest professional accomplishment? Um, oh, uh, launching a, a lovely queer podcast that I'm so proud of. Unfortunately, you died in childbirth due to the lack of modern medicine. <laughs> So I guess the real question is, feelers are better than thinkers? Incorrect. Thank you very much.